When unresolved ancient writing was discovered on a mummy's bandages in the 1800s, it baffled Egyptian scholars. It took years to solve, but it was worthwhile. Do you find learning about this mystery to be exciting? Then be sure to view the entire video. Let's start the video. An Egyptian woman's coffin was purchased by the Municipal Museum of Zagreb in 1868, while Croatia was still a part of the Empire of Austro-Hungary. Her former owner had taken off her coverings but kept them. She had not been a member of the clergy or a member of the royal family, but inside her wrapping was a fascinating puzzle. However, German Egyptologist Heinrich Brugge recognized that the scrawled text on the linen strip differed from Egyptian hieroglyphics. He was unfamiliar with the text. Not only was the mummy's shroud the first complete linen Etruscan text discovered, but it was also the most lengthy text discovered in the language. It might contain a wealth of knowledge about the local way of life. The Linen Book of Zagreb, commonly referred to by its Latin designation, Liber Lintus Zagrebiensis, was identified by Kral, which led to several inquiries concerning its contents and composition. Equally intriguing was how an Egyptian mummy ended up within an Etruscan manuscript. The historic Etruscan country of Etruria is similar to the contemporary Italian area of Tuscany. Etruria, which first appeared in the 7th century BC, interacted with Greek immigrants while also creating a sophisticated manufacturing system, art, and woodwork. Greek gods, products, and the Euboean Greek language were all brought to Etruria by trade. It was modified by the Etruscans to produce their unique writing, which was composed from the right side to the left. The Etruscan accent is essentially unique compared to other languages spoken in Europe. They are all descended from Indo-European languages that first colonized Europe tens of thousands of years ago, especially English. The exception is Etruscan, an alphabet that predates and survives the Indo-European invasion. The ancient rulers of the town, also known as the Etruscans, are entwined with early Roman history. Latin borrowed words from the Etruscan language, person, the Etruscan word for mask is the origin of the Latin words person and persona. But as Republican Rome's influence increased, the Etruscan civilization would be wiped out, leaving only its artifacts, colorful tomb artwork, and writings that a decreasing number of individuals could understand. One of the very few people who could speak and write Etruscan in the classical era was the emperor of Rome, Claudius, an Etruscan scholar. Even though Claudius produced a 20-volume biography of the Etruscans, it has yet to be preserved to the present day. The linen reserve of Zagreb was an 11-foot-long sheet with 12 writing columns before it had been ripped into pieces. It is estimated that the portion found in the bandages corresponds to 1,330 words, or almost 60% of the text as originally written. Before the Lenin publication's finding, Etruscan linguists could examine the language of the past from about 10,000 brief writings. Still, Kral's recognition of the Lenin book's vocabulary in 1891 substantially expanded the available text. The Linen booklet was once considered a burial object, which gave rise to the theory that it was directly connected to the corpse it had covered. A Croatian called Mihail Beric bought the mummy in Alexandria in the 1840s. The mummy was stored in his Vienna residence. The mummified body and its coverings were given to the Zagreb Museum after his death. The mummy's wrappings included other texts besides the Etruscan linen book. The deceased person was also wrapped in a papyrus from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Researchers assume that the woman whose corpse was put to rest is the feminine character Nese Kansu, mentioned in this Egyptian text. She was determined to have lived somewhere between the 4th and 1st century BC and passed away in her 30s in the latter part of the 20th century. The headings and guidelines of the linen book were composed of nickel, a scarlet mineral used to make colors, while the black ink was created from burnt ivory. The balsam utilized for the mummification hidden the Etruscan text in numerous destinations, but developments in infrared radiation photographing enabled 90 additional characters of the Etruscan to be understood in the 1930s, revealing what researchers thought the book's function to have been. 
a ritual timetable outlining rites performed all through the year. The Etruscan book contains directions on how to adore particular gods and what rituals, such as ceremonial libations or sacrifices of animals, should be carried out. Nethans, an ancient water god extremely similar to the Roman sea god Neptune, is one of the individual gods listed. The Etruscan sun god Usul, comparable to the Greek sun god Helios, is also mentioned in the poem. Phrases and identities that identify the location of the material were discovered through further research. Specialists on the Etruscan culture think the Lenin notebook was produced close to the contemporary Italian city of Perugia. However, the script is believed to have been attributed to far later than the Lenin, which has been traced to the 4th era BC, the text's mention of January, as the first month of the ceremonial year, is the clearest proof that it was composed around 200 and 150 BC, if the text's subsequent chronology is right. It provides a glimpse into a way of existence that the rise of the Roman Empire would soon obliterate. It is currently unclear to researchers precisely how this Etruscan manuscript got to Egypt. There were certainly various theories put forth. One is that throughout the 4th and 1st centuries BC, the ancient city of Alexandria, when the mummified body was acquired, was a hub of commerce worldwide. The corpse was merely preserved using the materials that were accessible at that point in an international port town. Books from other civilizations wouldn't be considered uncommon. This viewpoint contends that there is no specific connection between the opinions of the deceased woman and the book itself. All that was available had been utilized by the mummified. A completely different idea refers to Etruscan statues that show linen books being buried in burial sites, just as the Egyptians did with the Book of the Death. If the deceased had Etruscan lineage, her family might have interred her using the Egyptian Book of the Deceased and the Etruscan linen text, following the traditions of both her adopted and historical civilizations. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments section. And if you like the video, then subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any further interesting videos. See you in the next video.